Well, <laughs> I tried to move away from Flat Earth, but, um, well, I've been having a lot of back and forths with a Flat Earther, and I'm going to be doing a video on that. I did talk a little bit about it in my last live stream. But what we're looking at today is Nathan Oakley and the Flat Earth debate team minions are just completely... They're just putting out video after video all about um, Katz, Ranty, Andrew Hiff, and the uh, White Swan, as it has been dubbed. Because, you know, it is, it is a perfect proof of Earth Curve. So, that's what we're going to look at today. Stay tuned. So, this video is titled Straw Man Dumpster Fire. Now... A straw man, like as far as debates are concerned, is um, it's according to the internet definition, it's it's an informal fallacy of having the impression of refuting an argument, whereas the real subject of the argument was not addressed or refuted, but instead replaced with a false one. So this isn't a straw man, you know. This is the argument is that the Earth is flat. This, you know, Katz, Ranty, and Ruhiv didn't argue against something else they argued against the flat earth they showed how on a flat earth the mountains in the distance behind blackpool tower would be much higher so there is no straw man here it was a direct argument against flat earth and it won as much as nathan and his minions refused to believe it you know it is perfect proof of the globe so right from the get-go it yeah it's not a straw man Learn what you're talking about before you start doing stuff. It's not a straw man. It's a direct attack against the argument of flat earth and it destroys flat earth. So it, 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 it set out to do what it was meant to do and it, it didn't skirt the issue and it didn't attack something else. It completely demonstrates how that picture would not look that way on a flat earth. Case closed. But you know, it's not going away. So let's 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 take a look. None of them representative of the world and go skewy and haywire when you try and wrap it around a ball. Even if it's supposed to be a globe projection, you can't wrap it around a ball correctly. Even if you've got millions and photographs from a fake place called space, you still can't get the scales right when you when it's wrapped around a ball. Yeah, it's not wrapped around a ball. We're on a flat plane. I mean, I know Nathan that it's your paycheck and everything, but like just just give it up like everything shows that we live on a ball and you know it does work when you open it up flat you know in like a like an azimuth or something it then it's distorted because it's not flat it everything is you know on a ball the sunsets disappearing over the horizon use a solar filter videotape it you will see that it doesn't get smaller it's not moving away it goes right down to the horizon and then disappears behind it and, and in fact in in doing that it, it completely destroys your bottom disappearing because of perspective argument as well really it's it's just oh it's pathetic just give it up mate give it up fairly obvious i kind of laugh when when they say when they ask us where's our map and shit even their own side says that we don't have an accurate map Oh, thanks. Thanks sure. again to you. <laughs> and another opportunity for me to say hashtag thanks, cats. Yes, hashtag thanks, cats, because you have, without doubt, undeniably proven Earth curvature. I'm getting so excited, I'm knocking the camera. We've got as accurate a map as, you know, it is possible to get. We've done, like, you know, geodesic surveys. We've measured everything as best as we possibly can. And we've got pictures from space that you choose to ignore because you ignore everything that destroys your model, like gravity and logic. We've got a working model. We've got as close to perfect as we can possibly get with current science and understanding. And what do you guys have? Nothing. Because it's fucking impossible. Like, our model predicts stuff. We can track earthquakes using, you know, like, seismic measurements. We can predict where and when eclipses are going to happen. You know, best angles of everything. We can work out where the sun's going to come up on a particular day. We can predict when we're next going to see a comet. 
how would any of that work on your flat earth if space is fake and the comet is some sort of thing built into your firmament or whatever how how are we able to predict that so accurately go back to school that's right yeah yeah we have started to well not started to we've been consistently using google earth in terms of its actual measurements because locally and with all the measurements, it represents as flat. You can draw out an elevation profile and show how flat it is. No drop. That's because elevation doesn't equal drop. Elevation is the measure from sea level. Flat earthers do not understand three dimensions. They kind of live in like two and a half dimensions. You know, I know everything looks flat to you. That's because there is a very minimal amount of curve in your field of view. It's another idiotic point of view that you think you know you completely understand but you don't all you do is you make yourself look stupid and yet you still manage to maintain that arrogance that you understand the world better than everyone else i mean look at it logically what are the odds that 99.9999 whatever percent of the world is wrong and your small group is correct the the complete narcissism come back to reality you friggin moron now bearing in mind that their assertions come with the claim of drop you'd expect it to be representative in something that's actually claimed to be an accurate measurement of it and is used professionally do you mean like these these were taken from a couple of like colleges or schools that teach land surveyors how to perform their job functions looking at this first one it shows uh all the curve of the earth and the ocean surface clinging to it land masses and it also states that by definition the curved surface of a sphere is termed a level surface i like that one especially the direction of gravity is perpendicular to this level surface at all points and gravity is used as a reference direction for all surveying measurements the vertical direction is taken to be the direction of gravity in addition the horizontal direction is the direction perpendicular to the vertical direction of gravity and if we look at the next one it's a figure showing the vertical direction is defined as the direction of the force of gravity it's you know showing where you sort of line up a freely suspended plumb bob it would be pulled towards earth center um, this is so that you know as if the ground is uneven and you're setting up the theodolite you can get the you know angle of vertical deflection and it also states that horizontal distance is measured along a level surface again level meaning the curve of the horizon or the curve of earth's surface depending where you're looking at every point along that length the line tangent to the level surface is horizontal it can be measured by tape or electronic distance measurement a true horizontal distance is actually curved like the surface of the earth and if we go on to the last one horizontal distances and angles horizontal angles are measured on the horizontal plane and establish the azimuth of each survey measurement an azimuth is a horizontal angle measured clockwise from a defined reference typically geodetic north horizontal distance and angle measurements are then used to calculate position of a point on the horizontal plane and if we look at it true horizontal distance curves just like earth's surface I also took the pleasure of contacting some land surveying companies. I got to speak to some people there, and this is something that I'm prepping for another video. Talking to them now, um, you know, everyone I talked to, you know, mentioned about like, you know, dis we discussed Earth's curvature, and they all said that over large distances, you do have to account for it. They actually have tables that account for Earth's curvature. It even accounts for atmospheric refraction so the one like main measurement that i got was that there's eight centimeters of curvature accounted for over each kilometer but uh, under normal conditions atmospheric refraction takes that down to six centimeters of curvature professional land surveyors have to occur account for curvature over long distances yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that is a real-world example. Started talking about angular size change with distance. That's not all that goes into perspective. So he was kind of he, the straw man he was making. He wasn't de debunking perspective. I, I don't even know what he was doing. 
Well, he was trying to save Katz and co from their very flimsy straw man of their crew trig to acquire perspective when doing it on a flat plane. Again, it wasn't a straw man and there was no crude trick or flimsy argument or anything like that. And they didn't need saving. They showed what it would look like on a flat plane and they showed how it looks in reality on Earth's curved surface. No matter what you say to try and argue against it, it was done correctly. The measurements were good, the calculations were good, and what we saw from the picture matched up perfectly with it. We will continue your scheduled viewing after this important message. Matt's pal has a giant inflatable banana in his backyard, which he names Dr. Peel. And now back to your scheduled programming. Now they couldn't do it on a globe, so they had to utilize that actual trig to burn later as a straw man and say, well, Flat Earthers came out, that's why I've done it that way. I've done you a favor. Maybe I've missed like a video or two or something because I, I, I honestly don't understand where he's getting this. We've done it that way to, to do you a favor. Everything that I've seen on it uh, obliterates Flat Earth. There's no coming back from it. It's it's perfect example of the globe. Everything measures up perfectly. So I don't know if anyone knows exactly what he's referring to. If there's a video on a certain channel I may have missed, then yeah, please do let me know in the comments. I know that I think Ruhif did a follow up to uh, it might have been to like Sleeping Warriors, like one of his points or something. And and again, everything measures up. Like Ruhif's models are phenomenal. They're perfectly accurate. They work exactly as intended, and they show us what to expect. Something that flat Earth can't do. Well, listen out for these things. When people say you, Huey highlighted this and he's so correct. When someone says, I'm doing you a favor, there's no such thing as a free lunch. What do you mean you're doing me a favor? Why would you be doing me a favor? What that actually means is, I'm going to be holding this up as a presentation of something that you haven't said so I can burn it. That's my favor. That's what I'm Maybe. saying. That's what I hear when when you say somebody oh, he's doing us a favor. Um, aren't you supposed to be trying to prove us wrong? Don't do us any favors. Just prove your point and keep it moving. So far, I've trimmed out Everett Anderson's list that was detailed by Tim Osman to Ranty, an extensive list that included weather. Now, do I now need to go and trim out Ranty sat through a presentation with Life Is Short on perspective, and then? Juxtapose that with your pathetic, feeble attempt to detail the same thing, Katz. What the angular resolution limit is across patterns that are diffracting. It's embarrassing. Now, if you want me to juxtapose what has been claimed in terms of perspective only, which you think you're burning as a straw man for Flat Earth, you're not. You're burning your own pathetic understanding of perspective, and I can demonstrate that by putting it side by side with Life is Short with Ranty sat there. Yeah, clearly I, you know, need to check out some other videos. There's got to be, you know, there's, it looks like there's more stuff going on. But, you know, at the end of the day, you can't demonstrate it, Nathan. You think you can, but everything that you ever put forward is wrong. You know, your perspective, diffraction, your version of the second law of thermodynamics, which is completely wrong. Just like every flat earther, you arrogantly and egotistically think you know more than people that have actually studied these things. You know, Katz has studied, he's put the time in, and he knows what he's talking about as much as you wish he didn't. Um, yeah, we're going to call it a day there. Thank you guys so much for sparing some time out of your day to view my video. Yeah, please do like and comment if you feel like it, and please subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel, there are links to Patreon and PayPal in the description, as well as links to my Discord server and other social media. As always, I have been Limey Play. Take care of each other, and stay safe.